This is the new Ulanzi and Coman Zero travel tripod. Cinity, your digital cinema tech resource, supported by B and H and CVP. Hi, I'm Johnny from Cinity, and I'm here with Pedro from Ulanzi. Pedro, how are you? I'm very good, and thank you. And you? I'm very well, thank you very much. And I would like to talk to you about this. We have a new tripod, actually. It's a travel tripod from Ulanzi. Very lightweight. Actually looks quite capable. And I would like you to tell me a little bit about this product. So Ulanzi co-designed this tripod with Coman. And this is a carbon fiber tripod. It's, uh, when it's closed, it's 15 uh, centimeters tall and can go up to 1.5 meters uh, tall as well. Uh, it's carbon fiber, it's 1.1 kilos, and on the head you can attach a maximum of 5 kilos and have 18 kilos on a backpack uh, here if you need extra sturdiness. That all sounds really promising, but even before we start to talk about the tripod itself, can you tell me a little bit about Ulanzi? Because originally what I know about the company, the products are uh, modestly priced, and this, this particular thing looks kind of an um, upgrade from everything that I know that they have done so far. Yes, this is a big upgrade from everything that we have. Uh, as you can see, the carbon fiber tripod is a bit more expensive than all the other things that we have. I think, you know, Ulanzi is actually going up to the next level of uh, accessories. So That's the first time that I see this tripod and every component that I touch here, doesn't matter if it's the actual legs or... Uh, to operate the head a little bit. Everything feels well, feels really, really good. Did you use this tripod already? Uh, I have used it a little bit, and this tripod feels very, very sturdy. Uh, even with the central column um, all the way up, which usually is the weakest part of the tripod, this one is very, very sturdy. Uh, it's very small, and um, I really, really enjoy this tripod. I think it's a, it's a great addition to Ulanzi and to everyone that actually needs a travel tripod. This one comes already with, uh, with this ball head. This ball head, is uh, you cannot remove it, so it's always attached here but do you connect your camera directly to this or you use another additional head with a, like a fluid head or something? If, if I do video, I attach it here. If I don't do video, I, I just use it uh, directly here. I actually, I use it with L brackets. This is an Arca Swiss, so anyone with Arca Swiss plate can use it there, either with ours or any other that you have. L brackets will work as well. Interesting, because as a documentary filmmaker, I'm always looking for components and products that I can tra travel with and not be punished by airlines, because everything that I save on weight, I can actually bring more equipment if I need. And th this is simply looks nice. By the way, if I need to spread the tripod legs here, how low can I go? I just want to see if I'm limited. I can, I can open, so you have, th this has three functions. One that goes like this, and then the third one, it goes up to this. So it's pretty simple and easy to go like that, and then you put this up and can go like that. So, of course, I'm a little bit restricted. This is something yes. to, to take into account when you, when you do this, but otherwise, I think it's rather low. How about pricing and availability? So, uh, they, they should be, you know, should be found in Amazon and all the, our uh, retailers. They are roughly around 300 and 350 to 400 euro, depending on the country and where you buy it. So, it is available right now? It is available right now, yes. Great. Pedro, anything else that you would like to add? Because it's a, you know, it's funny. A tripod sometimes is a very simple product, yet very complicated. Because we we talked off camera before, guys. This is just just just, be, just between us. Because of course there are more expensive, similar products in the market, and uh, you you had some issues with those more expensive products. Yeah, and and I'm talking to you in terms of professional to professional and less like uh, somebody who's representing a company because you're also uh, photographing, you're also doing videos and uh, you're doing your own workshops yeah. and you've been using this and you were quite surprised how well it can compete with higher priced uh, competitors. What, what can you tell about this? Yeah, so having the tubular legs, it really helps a lot and uh, I find it super, super sturdy. I have used other brands in the past that I wasn't that happy with their ball head systems or their proprietary clamps because I couldn't use my L bracket on it and things like that. So I do like the small details that you have on, on this tripod. And there are a few more things that I would like to talk about. Like it brings already, you can remove, if you want to have spikes, if you want to shoot in the, in the ice, it brings already in the package um, the spikes as well. So you don't have to buy it separately like other brands. It's super easy to do. And then on the bottom of the tripod, you also have uh, a screwdriver that is actually facing two ways in case you need to 
you know, tighten something or loosen up to clean up the tripod after, you know, a trip to the beach and you need to take some sand that might get in into certain places, you can just use the specific tool that is always on the tripod to clean it up and everything is within the tripod with you at all times. And yes, I love it that, you know, airlines let me carry on this and I can carry more stuff with me rather than, you know, being worried about the, tr the weight of the tripod. Because you're a user, and I don't want to sound over enthusiastic because I haven't tried it myself. What is the weakest point of this tripod as far as you're concerned because you used it already? Just what we know. Well, like, like in every tripod, because of the sections, I would say the last sections are a bit weaker than, than, you know, than the other ones. Uh, I don't love the middle column. I wish the tripod was slightly taller so I wouldn't have to use the middle column as I'm not used to it and where there is too much wind, I wish that I wouldn't have to use it. But then again, like, I usually put it down and I put my camera on top and I have to lean up a little bit and also depends on how tall you are. For some, some people it won't be a problem, for other people it might be a problem. So that's, that's the weakest part for me. Good. I think we have the general information and first impression. Maybe one day we take it into the real world, at least us at CineD and test how, how it works. Pedro, thank you very much for your time. It was really a pleasure to talk to you. Oh, likewise, thank you very much for having me. Thank you. And guys, thank you very much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.